Hey guys, Greg C96 here, and Microsoft has screwed up yet again, not surprisingly. Specifically this time, as I'm sure you've gathered by the title, it has to do with that promised July 29th Windows 10 release date, and how July 29th, even though it technically is the release date, is extremely, extremely misleading. So basically, July 29th is going to be the release date if you were part of the Windows Insider program. So there's about 5 million members of the Windows Insider program, and those will be the people who can actually get Windows 10 on July 29th. Other than that though, your typical standard users, you know, anyone who's reserved that free copy, basically it's going to get rolled out in waves, so you're not going to be getting it till you know, August, probably later in August, because every one of those 5 million is going to get it first, and to quote specifically, uh, Terry Meyerson, they're going to start rolling out Windows 10 to the Windows Insiders and from there they will start notifying reserved systems in waves slowly once our compatibility work confirms you will have a great experience. So basically what I'm gathering from that is they're saying once they've rolled it out to the Insiders for them to beta test their full release like they've been beta testing all of the actual betas, so once these insiders have, you know, confirmed that Windows 10 is actually working like it should be, then they'll start rolling it out to the general public. Which, yes, that doesn't sound so bad. Because obviously, you know, you want the fully featured operating system. You want to make sure it works before you start getting out to the general public. But the problem is, you know, right now, they've been promising July 29th as the release date for Windows 10. And the reason it's a problem is because of how angry people were with Windows 8. Windows 10 was supposed to be the fix for that to make everything right, which is why it was free. And as we just saw, there was a big problem with actually who gets a free upgrade to Windows 10 recently. So Microsoft has been in some hot water for that. But the big issue is, you know, you've been promising it on July 29th, you know, in statements about everything. It's... You know, we can't, back to Terry Meyerson, we can't wait to deliver innovations like Cortana, Windows Hello, Microsoft Edge, and Continuum, and so much more on July 29th. Well, it's not going to be July 29th for the general public. It's going to be closer to the end of August. And like I said, the reason this is such a big problem is, you know, you've been promising it for July 29th. And now you're saying, well, it's July 29th, but there's an asterisk next to it. And all of this is going to relate back to... You know, Microsoft, their Windows testing division is these Windows insiders now because a while ago, probably about eight months ago now, six months ago, eight months ago, something like that, Microsoft laid off their entire Windows testing division, which absolutely makes zero sense. They've, you know, laid off the Windows testing division, so now they're relying on the general public, those who want to, to beta test their full version of Windows that they're about to release. You know, even, for example, even, like, volume license people. So people who are buying, you know, hundreds of thousands of licenses at a time for, like, schools and whatnot, even they can't get it on July 29th. Though That release date's going to be August 1st, which, you know, once again, that's part of that whole asterisk of, oh, by the way, here's what we didn't mention to you. So really, it's July 29th for... Windows Insiders. So basically, you know, they've been saying on July 29th you can get Windows 10 for PCs, tablets by taking advantage of the free upgrade offer. They haven't been saying on or soon after July 29th. They've been saying on July 29th. So the whole thing is just extremely, extremely dishonest from Microsoft because, you know, they, they've been promising this as a fix. Specifically, they were promising Windows 9 as a fix. And then they decided not to do Windows 9. Just for some reason, they decided to skip a full version. Entirely, a full major version. And then there was a the whole thing about, will Windows 10 be free then? Because they promised Windows 9 free. After sorting out a lot of hot water there, yes, Windows 10 is free. Now they've been promising it as this fix. And now, basically, they've just decided that, you know, oh, hey, we've been saying it's going to come out now, but... We actually meant this. 
So, in my opinion, really, it's all, it's, it's very much wrong. They've just been lying to the consumer. So, you know what? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I want to know what your opinions are on this. Is Microsoft in the right? Is Microsoft in the wrong? Let me know. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't like it. Leave a comment down below if there's anything, you know, else that I might have missed about this. If there's anything, you know, deeper about this that I missed. I'll leave a comment if there's any other topics you want to see me talk about in the near future. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me to grow. Check me out on the web at gregc96.com. And as always, I will see you guys next time.